Today, we are going to talk about one of the greatest stories of man-eating animals of all time. No, not you, Jaws, the Tusevo Lions of 1898. The Tusevo Lions are said by the natives not to be lions at all, but more like demons hell-bent on eating human flesh. The world had never seen lions like this before. Our story begins in March of 1898. The British Empire was building an epic railroad system. The railroad system had come to a halt in Kenya as a bridge needed to be built. The workforce needed to build this huge railroad system was mainly hard-working Indian laborers called the Coolies. They were part of the British Empire at that time. Patterson was the architect to build the bridge. He was a very young, very determined, and a very talented man. Since the bridge was going to take a couple months to complete, the workforce needed to build camps. They were in for a very long stay under the hot African sun. Now if only they knew beforehand what was coming in the darkness, I'm sure they would have put a lot more thought into how they constructed their camps. It wasn't long after Patterson arrived that the first report started coming in about disappearing men. Patterson was told that it was lions, but Patterson did not believe it. After more people started disappearing, Patterson finally started to investigate, and he found out that it wasn't one lion, but two. Two man-eaters working together, which is unheard of. So Patterson, a respectable hunter, started working nights. He hid in trees, he set up traps, he did whatever he could to kill these lions. It seemed that the lions were able to avoid Patterson and his traps, as if they knew that he was after them. And every night, more people kept disappearing. So the workers started to construct bumas around their camps. Bumas are basically thorn bushes, and they also kept fires burning throughout the night. This usually works very well against lions. But these were not normal lions. The bumas didn't work, nor did the fires. And every night like clockwork, the lions would attack and drag another unlucky soul to his death. Now the workforce needed to build this railroad was huge, so there were dozens of camps set up over a very large area. And all these workers had to protect themselves at night were the bumas and the fire. Patterson was the only hunter at the time. The workers were terrified. They wanted to run away. But the British Empire needed that railway built, and they would not let him leave until the work was done. The workers started to call these lions the devil, as if the two lions were one evil entity. Which sounds about right, as these two lions did in fact work together in order to kill their prey. One lion would fake attack on one location, while the other would go in from a different location, grab the target, and drag him just 30 yards or so away from the camp, and start to eat him. The workers could hear the lions eating their fellow workers night after night. Eventually, the workers no longer cared what the British Empire would do, and they finally left. Although some brave workers did stay, but they spent their nights sleeping in trees or they would bury themselves in pits with huge water logs covering the tops. Now once the bridge came to a halt, the British Empire finally realized how bad it was and they sent some reinforcements. Now there was Patterson and 20 armed policemen. Some nights the policemen would come face to face with lions and their shots would always seem to miss. But the sounds of the guns would scare them away. It really seemed that these two lions were in fact supernatural, just as the natives would say. After months of failure, the policemen finally left, and all that remained was Patterson and some very brave workers. The determination of Patterson is legendary. It took a very, very long time, but Patterson was eventually able to snipe these two lions. Patterson did succeed. What Patterson found out about these lions was amazing. These two lions had no mare. All male lions have mares, but these ones did not. Lions do not work together to kill their prey. These lions did. In the end, Patterson estimated 138 people died. These two lions were able to stop the British Empire from building a very simple bridge. Now there have been a lot of theories over the last century about these two lions, but in the end, they are just theories. The human race has never came face to face with lions like this before or after this event. What happened in Tesafo, Kenya will always make us wonder, as well as remind us, just how fast we can drop in the food chain. If you would like to learn more about this amazing story, I would strongly suggest to watch The Ghost in the Darkness. I am sure you will enjoy it very much. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie, and make sure to never go camping in Tesafo, Kenya.